Hello, so you know what's the best looting location in the game? Well, it's the police station, you have guessed it. So in case you want to buy an ore detector, it's going to be very useful. Just buy an ore detector, a battery, put the battery in the ore detector. And then just go to the police station. Now remember, you will be facing three sharks at one time. So make sure you have a scrap metal spear and armor. Now what can you find over here? Well, you can find a lot of goodies. As opposed to, you know, building materials. Here you'll find broken guns, gun parts. But you also find the military blueprint backpack for the scuba fins, which I assume they'll be very, very, very good. Now, where can you find them? Well, you can find them in the police building, either this one or this one, but I guess I should have explained that a little better. In order to get those items, you really, really need the small air tank. And that's, that's where, you know, the mining iron part comes in, because you need to mine iron and smell the iron to make one at least. So when you have one, it will be much easier to loot this place. Otherwise, you'll be so pressed for time and health that at some point you'll just say, okay, it's not going to be worth it because I'm going to die. So the smaller building is easier to loot, and this one can be looted as well, but it's a little tougher. So let's just find the entrance for now. I've already looted, looted most of it. Okay, so here's the entrance. So when you find the entrance, just go up to the surface and Refill your oxygen now. I'm going to almost die again. This is definitely not meant to be done like this. So, you need at least the flippers, the bigger backpack. I don't know. You need a lot of things to even come here to loot. Or attempt to loot stuff. And as you can see, there is a stairwell over there that you can go. Oh, I don't know. I just don't have enough time without the air tank. I also want to get some more iron ore. Now fighting the sharks is not that bad, you just need to buy a couple of antibiotics from the trader. Okay, so from the trading outpost you should definitely buy the ore detector, the battery and healing items. Now, I right click. Keep in mind that this will only show you the iron distance. So, go to a location, and when you stop getting closer to it, that means you have to dive. There it is. You can also find copper ore over here, which is not as useful, at least not for now. Okay, so there's probably one more ore mine over here. Or vein, or eh, just, you know, iron vein. Now that will continuously drain the battery, but don't worry, later on you'll be able to build a device that will recharge the battery. this is going yeah we have to go up i don't think we can find the rest it just might be that it's a lot deeper than i think of course you can also get that one as you can see i'm coming here during the day because it's much much easier to see during the day also be careful because when you get back to your island you might get attacked by the mutants that'd be fun also keep in mind that when you come here one day the sharks might have respawned as you can see, this cannot pinpoint the location of the iron ore, it will just show you the closest one. Okay, so we just destroyed that one. Let's take a little bit of time to yeah, just Also find a lot of cool gear over here. Shirt, tactical sand. What like that? It's a tactical shirt. I guess we can try to find another one, but it's mostly, as you can see, Stalfor over here. We can also hunt the Marlin, but that's definitely not why we came here. I will just assume that it will always point you to the closest iron vein. You don't need to worry about, you know, not going into the right direction.
Press search for other like other ores like copper or sulfur, but that's easy to get. It's so easy. To Another way to mine, I'm not sure, I don't think you can mine the rest, so let's just go back to the base. For now, we didn't need a lot more resources, so we might make another stop. I need something to heal myself with. Also, we took the motorboat. Now, from what I can see, it's a fixed spawn, so you'll always get the motorboat recipe in the unknown ruin. So, you are always going to be something like this. From the apartment, go from the castaway land, go to the apartment, the village. Machine factory somewhat as much as you can and though trading outpost, maybe the Neptune if you really want some more items. And then unknown uh, ruins and police station. And you should accomplish all of this by day seven. Unless if you don't do that, you're going to be a little bit behind. Sadly we don't have any more resources unless we go to the district. Really don't use shift because if you use shift you'll burn through your fuel a lot faster. That's not really needed. But I guess in this case it might be needed. Yeah, we just need a lot of metal and a lot of wood at this point. I guess I could go to the mansion, but I think the mansion have the respawn sharks. I don't know, we'll have to see. I'm not really Dying. I'm pretty sure as, as soon as we drop onto the island, we'll get a mutant wave attack. How are we doing on space? We are doing super badly on space. I don't want to throw away anything, but we have to be efficient about this. Not so sentimental. Don't look if there are sharks. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Enough metal I would need. So tempting no, don't don't tempt me with those things. Yeah, I guess I can try and see if there is any wood in here. the shark yeah we really have to go let's see what's in the safe the safe usually can have some interesting stuff yeah let's just get out of here because this is just more and more dangerous Now, you could use the flares and some other things to loot during the night, but I don't think it's really worth it, to be honest. And also, if you have two boats, you can just leave the other one as a mark. So you don't have to put uh, <laughs> no lanterns all over your islands, because you see where your island is based on the sea over there. What do I want to take with me? I guess I'll want to take all of the ammo and some of the other stuff. Oh, we... Uh, whatever. Didn't see that. Oh, I could... Oh. Okay. You didn't see that either. Oh, what? Okay, I guess I could have optimized my inventory a lot more, to be honest. Need 
need to build more that create light in place. I am out of cloth. Okay, so we have to hurry a little bit because I'm pretty sure we're going to be pressed for time. Robber is in here, we don't take that. Yeah. How are we doing? Water. Let's drink the water. The last piece of fish. I like to have the fish because it heals me. Now I'm not sure how to harvest the red algae, but probably I need a knife. Okay, let's go to the research station. This game is kind of stressful if you look at it like that. Police under pressure. Until this point I was kind of afraid to put lanterns over here because it might cause the mutants to attack this place, but whatever. Ah okay, we're actually doing pretty well. I think we have two police elements, which is not necessarily bad. Okay, we have a lot of pistol ammo, so we probably can stop using this thing. And if you're wondering what is my goal right now, well, it's the body armor and some of the other things. I don't think I have another Marlin Fiskin, but it doesn't really give you a lot more armor. And the thing I really, really need to build right now is either the gunsmith or the air filling station. Ah no, a second furnace will not be worth it because you're just going to waste resources, we never have enough. I can build a lot more workshop. I wonder if it will be worth it though. The battery charger is over here, so that's why you need the copper ignat. And I do have some copper. Build it over here. Place the battery. Yeah. That's a very interesting mechanic, okay. That's how you recharge the batteries you need for door detector and probably for the mini scooter. And I have to get the mini scooter as well. And also we can make the flares. I really wish it would say how fast you're going to be swimming in there. So I assume that will be a big up the upgrade. Very backpack, so we need the leather for this. Ah perfect, so see this is why we need the leather. Kind of a stressful thing to all of this camera, isn't it? Yeah, you really have to work a lot harder in there. You can also make an iron helmet. No, no. Keep calm. Don't do that. Not sure what will happen to the extra items, but I don't want to take chances. Yeah. Winter management is kind of annoying at some point. We'll see if you have too much of it. So take the backpack from here, put the other one. Wait, what? Uh, I guess it only adds one more slot or item slot. But that's actually a lot. So as you can see with the fins, the air tanks and the other stuff, we'll be, we'll be having a lot more adventures. Now, air filling station. And the problem is it has kind of a weird description, as you can see it doesn't have the proper description. But that's okay, we forgive the developers for their little mistake. So 
two guns, GP20, which probably is a Glock, and that's probably kind of like a Desert Eagle type of deal. Oh, we are already out of the good materials. I probably want to take all of the items that I can sell with me, so I can sell them faster. As you can see, I also have a lot of decorations waiting for me. Might also die if I'm not careful. Probably want to walk to your pistol. Might have bad guys incoming. I don't know, maybe we are the bad guy. Now, why did I come over here? Well, I did something, but I forgot what. Oh wow, that, that space is really good. Yeah, I needed more rubber. I don't think I have more rubber, even though I got a lot of rubber. By the way, as you can see, we have an extra battery over here. And yeah, that's a bit annoying. So even though I have so much, I had so much rubber, now I have basically nothing left. Make an utility chest over here. Man, I thought the robot would not be a problem, but I was I was wrong. I was very very wrong. I guess you just have to go hunting for more robot. The armor workshop. No, because we're out of wood, so as you can see, at some point during the game, you'll just be out of the resources you would think you'd have a lot by now. Yes, yeah, so I'm out of rubber and wood. Now, this will be a problem to solve. I'm also out of cloth, apparently. So yeah, I guess I just need to do a lot of farming rounds, a lot more. Ballistic fiber probably should be over here, where we have the more... Rare materials. Okay, now we have all of the guns we'll ever need. Uh, the problem is I cannot make them. so weird but i guess it's okay so here is how you repair your guns you the broken guns can be repaired over here and the thing i don't like is that it doesn't say what caliber it is or what ammo it uses wish list eh, that's annoying it does a lot more damage Actually, no, it's more or less the same damage. I guess I can make one of these. Some shotgun, 25 damage. I guess it's because they spread their bullets, so that's why maybe it's like that. Let's look at again at the ammo type. So we have shotgun ammo and pistol rounds. No rifle ammo. M16. Oh, great. We have an M16 over here as well. Yeah. The bolt rifle will probably be more interesting. I'm curious about this design. I wonder if the damage is directly proportional with the quality. I guess we'll just have to make one and see if that's really how it works. Because I assume you have more ammo calibers that I haven't discovered. Yeah, I would make more, but... Like I don't need more because I'm basically out of resources anyway. What we need for level 3, the rope, copper and iron. So something we already have. Okay, we'll play a little more until we have 5 ingots to repair this and I want to see if this is the pistol ammo. Because if this uses the pistol ammo, it will be great. 
Also, remember that we have this thing over here and this does 60 damage. So the pistol will also be 60 damage, otherwise I don't think it will be worth it to make the smaller caliber pistols. I guess at some point we'll just have the AK-47 or the M14 or 16. Okay, that's a new resource, the steel ignan, so that's iron, that's steel. Okay, those are steel bars, but okay. Yeah, probably we need to make two of these things, but I'm a bit lazy. Low on resources. I'm so angry because I just needed more rubber for that one. Check again for rubber. Nope. No rubber has appeared in our inventories. One piece of rubber. I guess I can make the refrigerator, but what would be the point of the refrigerator? I can also make the fish net, but again, I'm out of materials. Nice. So I can, uh, oh, okay. The game has a lot of quality of life features. I like that. Yeah, I just need to make a good resource one. By that I mean just collect the basic ones. Man, we need so many basic resources, so I, I guess there's no way to increase the inventory of your boat, from what I saw. Maybe we can add a chest onto the boat? I don't think so, you can only build on structures like this. So we'll just have to see. Oh yeah. Definitely uses the same ammo type. So as you can see we have a bit of a spare weapon. Dilemma over here. I guess we can keep another one uh, just short. Wait, why does it say 8 out of 41? What? Oh, okay, now I understand. That's so cool, this is our first decent weapon, I would say. Let's go use all of this new stuff we have. <sighs> oh, they scared me. Well, I guess they're bugged. Oh, but not bugged enough. Yeah, they cannot attack you. Ooh. Apparently they cannot attack this very high structure, so I was planning on adding more of this stuff over here. I was planning on adding more base defenses, meaning wall spikes everywhere. But from what I can see, they cannot attack it if it's so high into the air. This is not exactly my point. Oh, no. If they are here, that means they are on the other side. Yeah, if they appear in one place on my island, that means they are on all other places. I guess they destroyed the chests over here. It's not so bad, I lost a few chests with nothing in them. <laughs> they can have my wooden spear. So, definitely they are bugged out. So this is what you call early access. They are still dangerous, of course, because they might get me when I'm running around, but... Yeah... Early access. Fix some stuff. Look at that. Oh, that's why it happens. Okay, now I understand. 
So the reason they are bugging out is because look at this. The pillars are over here, but I don't think they can attack the pillars themselves. They have to attack the platform. Okay, I understand. Well, in my defense, I didn't think it worked like that. Oh, but that realization that if I'm on the island, that means the mutants are on the island. And if the mutants are there, they must be in another place as well. By the way, another funny thing about my current playthrough is that I'm not sleeping. I never sleep. I don't even have a bed right now. You know why? Just because I'm eating and drinking the sodas and the other stuff which keeps me energized so I don't have to sleep. Oh, I have The sodas, but I need the soda one. Let me see if I have enough supplies. I think the food should last me for the entire duration of my operation. I guess I have to go and sell all of this random nonsense at some point. with my progress now we just need to go and collect a lot more resources sorry it took me 27 minutes i guess i was having too much fun planning this stuff we already wasted 20 bullets man ammo is really scarce and after i finish looting and all of that we'll attack the mutant settlement over here See you next time bye bye